Hello, my 3D printer peeps. We are here in Bamboo Studio version 2.x. What's that? Yes, I know. You were scared, weren't you? You got so comfortable in 1.x, finally. And then they drop 2.x and tell you it's going to be all different. Yet, this looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? See that? You were scared for nothing. Let's dive in and learn all about it. Click into prepare. Oh boy, what is this? It does look a little different, doesn't it? But hold up, some of these things make a lot of sense. But wait a second, all that hoopla must have presented a lot more user interface changes to confuse me, right? 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 Mm, turns out not so much. One of the changes you'll notice is right here where we can choose the type of bed we are working with and the diameter of our nozzle. Keep in mind when changing the diameter of our nozzle here, we will still need to click into device and make sure our printer has the correct diameter and material chosen. This is the specific material and diameter physically installed on the printer. This is the diameter of the nozzle we are working with here in the project. You'll need them to match, and I'm not sure adding it right here without being able to have it automatically override here is terribly worth it, yet here we are. The nozzle diameter is here, but the nozzle type isn't. Why wouldn't they add an additional pull down or just add an SS or HS next to the nozzle. I don't know, I just work here. When choosing your nozzle diameter, you will notice sometimes it changes your chosen print bed. 0 0.6 changed to textured PEI, 0 0.4 to smooth PEI, 0 0.8 back to textured PEI. Why does it do this? I have no idea, I prefer smooth PEI for nearly all my projects, but if I need a textured bottom, I'm going to choose a textured bed regardless of my nozzle diameter. Here on the printer select screen, you will have all your user presets followed by system presets. If you click here into the pencil, you have the usual configuration screen. If you choose a Bamboo Lab printer, such as the P1S, it shows the P1S right here. You'll notice down here, your PLA settings, you have these three dots now, and you were able to click them, delete this filament, merge it with another filament, or edit that filament to change its settings right here. This is quite similar to what you're used to from version one. However, you now have delete and merge with right here next to each individual filament. You'll notice one new detail, and that is the Bamboo Lab logo next to each filament that is an OEM Bamboo Lab filament. Keep in mind, while it does seem to want to automatically change your bed when changing diameters, you may go ahead and change it back to the correct bed you wish to work with. Also note, when changing your diameter here, your layer height presets will change to present proper layer heights for that nozzle diameter. For example, if I chose 0.2, I'm offered all the way down to 0.06. If I choose 0.6, I'm only offered down to 0.18. If I choose 0.8, I'm only offered 0.24, all the way up to a whopping 0.56. So by changing your diameters right here, you can have a look at different available layer heights and how they affect your print time. Just be sure if you are choosing, for example, a 0.8 nozzle project here, that your printer has a 0.8 installed and you've gone ahead and told it that. Here on the left, you now have your user manual, your print history, maker supply, maker lab, online models, and recently opened. Having maker supply is really cool and having maker lab is really cool. Keep in mind, maker supply will open up into a web browser while Maker Lab will open up inside Bamboo Studio. I suppose I will have to shoot an all new intro to Bamboo Studio 2.x tutorial. However, I just wanted to show you guys who may have been afraid to move up to 2.0 and ignoring that pop-up 
there's no need to do so. You can make the move to 2.x and get started working with the current slicer as Bamboo requested we all do. If you are working with the Bamboo Lab H2D, Bamboo Studio 2.0 has specific functions for that printer. You may go ahead to select remove printers and in here you will be able to choose the new Bamboo Lab H2D. However, I will not be able to do so because I do not have one. But I added it anyway, just so I can pretend for a little while. When working with the H2D, you will have some new options, such as working with individual AMSs for each individual nozzle. Those of us working with an older machine still only have our AMS access limited here to the device tab right here. Do note they moved the external filament from the left side of the AMS to the right with a graphic which shows it a little bit more clearly than it did in Bamboo Studio 1.x. That's all I've got for you today. Dive into Bamboo Studio 2.x and let me know what you think of it.